So in today's van build video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this super simple DIY pullout table for my camper van and exactly how you can do it as well. But of course, as always, there's a few cock ups along the way. <laughs> Come on, you twat. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> king of the castle, king of the castle. You will never get this. La, 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 la. Whoa, <laughs> baby. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Hello, you speaking, how can I help? Woo! Well guys, welcome back to another video on the van build. Today's video has actually been filmed over two weeks because this project of trying to work out how to make a fold up table, a slide out table, or just a table in general inside the van has absolutely blown my mind because there's so many different ways that you can do it. For me, the only way to learn and to understand how to do everything is through trial and error. So over the last couple of weeks, a lot of wood has been wasted, a lot of money, but I'm much more of a practical learner. And as I said, the only way that I figured out how to do this is by actually trying things and if it doesn't work try something else what you doing Maxon? <gasps> what you doing what you doing hey what you doing what you doing <laughs> So I finally think I figured out how to make some sort of table from this area. I think anyway. I've just been to Wix to pick up some U-shaped aluminium because what I've decided I want to do is I want to have the table to pull out from the top. The reason I don't want the table to be pulling out from the bottom is because it's going to be too low, especially when I make the benches and things like that, sitting down, having the table underneath. It. It's just too low. I'll somehow mount these aluminium U-shaped pieces of aluminium. No idea what you actually call them. And then my table will hopefully slot into the gaps of this aluminium and then slide out. What I was going to do was make a front fascia for the bed and an entrance into the van. And the door that I was gonna put here would then fold up on a hinge and act as not only a garage door, but also the table. The reason I don't want to do that is because I don't like the idea of having a leg because I would need a leg to give it some extra support. I also don't like the idea of having a hinge across here because I just think that won't look very good, neat or professional. Uh, and I just like the idea of having a separate table and a separate door. So that is the reason I think I finally decided to try and make a slide out table coming from underneath the mattress but on top of the bed frame, if that makes sense. What most people do is they build a frame underneath their actual bed. However, as I said, the reason I don't want to do this is because this height here is too low. So I want to raise it up to be on top of the bed frame, which is only about two and a half inches, but it makes a big difference when you're sitting down. So enough talking. I need to work all this out, how I'm going to do it. And hopefully by the end of today, we should have a slide out table please 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 i cannot waste any more time on this because my head can't cope with it carpentry woodwork and all of this stuff i find super difficult because i am just not good at visualizing things 
Okay, so the first steps, what I'm going to refer to is the making of the sliding mechanism. I basically needed to pre-drill a few holes in the aluminium U-shaped metal, and then I attach this onto a piece of wood using some sticks like shit glue, just for extra strength and extra support. And then I put some screws through the metal and into the wood, just to make everything as strong as I possibly could. Ugh. No! I've just finished doing the other side. I'm going to refer to these, by the way, as my table runners, because these are pretty much the foundation of which the table is going to be used to actually slide out. I wanted to just set it up like this and show you a bit of a demonstration of my theory and how I'm hoping it's actually going to work. The piece of wood that I'm going to use will just slot in there. These pieces here will be fixed and mounted to the bed frame on the front and in the middle. Everything's going to move here when I try and demonstrate it, or maybe not. But the theory is that I can just pull the table out and there we go, all sorted. However, it's obviously not as simple as that because this is the table and the piece of wood that I'm gonna use that's actually gonna slide out. The problem with this piece of wood is it's too thick to fit the piece of U aluminium channel that I've bought. What I'm gonna have to do is plane probably around two millimeters off this timber board. You know how to use a planer, do you? A wood planer, yeah. Yeah, one of these bad boys. How do, how yeah. do you stop it creating lines? Normally you'd use a planer just on like a thin piece. Like yeah. that's narrower the planer, if that makes sense. Oh, really? Yeah, so your only way to do it, the way you're trying to do it, is to plane it and then sand it all flat. So that was Lou from Camper Vibe. She's got a bit of carpentry skills, so I just wanted to get some advice from her because Basically, what I'm trying to avoid is, this is another scrap piece of wood. When you use the planer, it leaves marks. It's almost like when you cut a lawn and you go one way up the lawn and then you come back down, you can see the lines. Obviously, I don't want that on the piece of wood. So she was recommending to basically take off as little as I can and then to sand off the rest and sand out these lines. It seems the only way because I don't have one of those big machines which you can pass a massive sheet of wood through which will obviously all take the wood off continuously. Okay, here goes nothing. I can always sand it down. It's always the underside, but let's do it properly. Come on, please run smooth. Okay. Oh, damn, that side's a bit, a little bit stiffer. But I'm wondering if having it stiff is also gonna be a good thing. So I'm not gonna plane any more off, we'll just sand it. I've now got some 60 grit sandpaper on the sander and then I'll go up the sanders, up the sanders, up the sanding levels. As you can tell, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but all will make sense when you watch. Nothing is straight. I want a bit of play either side, just in case. Come on, you twat. Why is that not going down? Why, 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 why? Try an impact. Come on, you bastard. Get in the hole, please. Why? Why, 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 why? 
Why is that not going in? Is it because I need a bigger pilot hole? They're self-tapping screws though. Confused.com. Trying a bigger pilot hole. Oh God. Mumbo jumbo. Right, first screw is in. We'll put another one here just to make it extra strong. And then we'll finish off the others. Do I now have a sliding table in the van? The answer, people, is absolutely. If you're wondering what that is rattling back here, that's because I haven't fixed down these bed slats. Uh, hey, so sister, that ain't moving anywhere, man. Woo. That works. It just needs, I don't know, to be made a little bit smoother. That's strong. It's not the strongest table you'll ever have. But if you think about it, all I'm really going to be doing is eating dinner off it and going on my laptop. I'm not going to be sitting on the edge of it. If anybody knows how I can make it even smoother, please let me know. I could put some candle wax in here, but if there's a better solution like some oil or something, Again, please drop it in the comments because I do read them and I try and take as much advice from all of your suggestions and the things that you say down below. The next thing to work out is these bed slats. What I need to do is basically raise these bed slats to the same height as this table, I believe. One thing I've learned on this van build, one major thing is never throw away any pieces of wood because initially when I started this project of actually trying to make this uh, bed and frame the, uh, the front of the bed area basically, I ended up cutting all these pieces of wood completely to the wrong size and then I changed ideas. Anyway, I never threw these pieces of wood away. So thankfully I can actually get some use out of them now. Also screwed all these bed beams down and I'm screwing things on top now really means that I'm never going to be able to take these beams out. If I do it's going to be an absolute nightmare. A table, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, this is an absolute game changer. Right, I gotta get some chairs. Just set this up and pretend like I'm camping in the wild. Shit. <laughs> oh dear. Well, my dad's not gonna be too happy that I just broke that box. This very makeshift chair is only temporary. <laughs> king of the castle, king of the castle, you will never get this. La 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 la. Whoa, baby. This is unbelievable. 
<laughs> Hello, Will speaking, how can I help? Woo! Eating fish and chips, eating chicken fajitas, working on my laptop, editing videos. Mate, this is an absolute game changer. Yes, there is a little bit of flex in it, but I'm not going to be sat leaning on this forever or for a long period of time. I'm literally going to be here eating my dinner, working on my laptop, so all of my weight will be on the chair or the bench underneath. So there's not going to be a huge amount of weight on here. So I'm not too concerned about it snapping or breaking. If I wanted to, to make things even stronger, I could pull the table out to have a little bit more length on it. Then two people could be sitting on this side. And what I could do is attach a leg on the underneath side under here just to give it a little bit more strength. But for most of the time, I'm probably going to have it sitting about there. And that is plenty strong enough to hold a plate, have some dinner, use my laptop, or just to put and do whatever else I want to using the table. I am absolutely chuffed with this. I think this is the proudest moment of the van conversion so far. This is what it looks like from the top side. Obviously the mattress is then gonna sit on top of this, so none of it you'll really be able to see. What I need to do, and I've just ordered actually, is a handle from Etsy because I want to obviously be able to pull out the table as easily as possible and also push it back in. Maybe one of the design flaws about doing the table this way is obviously that the table is now acting as the middle bed slats. So if I was to pull the table out and somebody was sitting on the bed, one, I don't know if it would be that easy with the extra weight and being able to pull the table out. And also you might kind of have a bit of a dip in the middle of the bed only when it's pulled out but when the mattress is on there it should be absolutely fine can't lie as you can tell i am chuffed with this i just want to reiterate the point as to how most people do it most people will pretty much do exactly this but underneath their bed and then they can actually have bed slats on the middle but just to reiterate the reason i didn't do it underneath was because that table height would just be too low that's what i thought anyway especially when i kind of set up a fake bench like this that's the only way really to test things out is just to do some makeshift furniture, test things out, test the height. Um, and then, yeah, I came to the conclusion that having it on top of the bed, another two to three inches higher would be a lot more comfortable to sit on and use. I'm not joking you when I say that it's taken me about two weeks to get to this point. There was a lot of trial and error, which you won't see in this video just because I filmed so much. Then I went and got the batteries upgraded. So everything was kind of all over the place. But finally, I'm happy and proud with this. And I can't wait to actually have a table in here that I can use. Right, let's uh, test out the oil. See what that looks like on a scrap piece and start oiling this bad boy up. That is it, the sliding table is complete and finished. As you can clearly see, now with the mattress on, the table still moves in and out very freely. As I said earlier, I'm gonna put a handle on here which will make things a lot easier. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. One thing that I'm gonna to do to make things a little bit better is, oh, I'm gonna actually put some slats. Let me see if I can demonstrate this while trying to hold the mattress up. I'm going to put some slats running this way, horizontally or vertically, basically with the bed. So that if I ever do pull out the table and I've got somebody who is sitting on the bed or lying down, when I pull the table out, they don't just fall straight through the middle of the mattress. Not that, that would happen anyway, but you obviously don't want this dip, which is currently there right now. And obviously with the weight of a human on there, that would be a lot more. So those slats going from here to here 
should stop that. I've started the next project, which is gonna be in the next van build video. I basically just wanna get all of this front garage area and bed area completely finished off. And then we're actually gonna completely transform the inside of this place because we're gonna do a job that I've been putting off for so long, a job which I hate, which is painting. But I wanna get all the painting done before I start putting serious amounts of furniture on the sides just so then it's done dusted and then pretty much all of this back area will be completely finished so this is how i made my diy super simple pull out table for a camper van let me know if you guys found it useful or you got some advice or some tips from this video as i said it was by far one of the easiest ways to do it was literally just to get two metal u-shaped runners as i'll call it and then put the piece of wood to slide in and out between them if you have any suggestions or advice on how i could improve things to maybe make it a little bit stronger then please do let me know down in the comments a lot of people have been asking about the stealth camps well my heater still isn't working still having problems with it but there's going to be more of an update in a future video about all of that anyway guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it useful if you did drop a comment leave a like and please subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as always guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video